Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jan Desiel and today I'm showing you how to modify your basic bodice block according to your cup size. The first thing that you might like to know is that I prepare for you a little document in PDF, three page, to help you doing the modification for the different cup size. The first thing to know is that you must start with blocks that have already the right circumference of the bust measurement. Then for the back, if you want to reduce the cup size or enlarge the cup size, you could just retrace the block. While for the front, if you're doing a smaller cup size, you could just retrace the front. While for larger cup size, you're going to retrace the front, but in two steps. For today's example, I'm going to start with the larger cup size, knowing that my block has a cup B. So you're going to trace from the first notch at the shoulder all the way, following the center front, all the way to the first notch of the waist dart and indicate your apex. Once your first part is traced, you're going to place your ruler parallel to the center front at about three or four centimeter distance. Then you're going to place your block again, touching the ruler and touching the waistline. Then you're going to trace from the second notch at the shoulder all the way to the second notch at the waist, then indicate the pivot. Now, knowing that the bus measurement is all right, what we're going to do is we're going to move around the volume. We're going to take it on the side seam and move it to the princess line at the bust area. The measurement to move is about one centimeter per size of cup. And for today's example, I'm going to go from a B cup to a D cup. So two size bigger, two centimeter. First, let's remove two centimeter to the side seam at the bust level. And the way I'm going to remove that two centimeter is going to be two third of the measurement on the back and one third of the measurement on the front. So square with the center back touching the underarm point, I'm going to trace for a little while and I will do the same thing for the front. So on the back, we remove two third. Two third of my two centimeter is about 1.4 centimeter and one third would be about 0.6. So total two centimeter. Now you could connect this point with the waist for both back and front. Now we have to retrace the armhole for back and front. And the idea is trying to change the measurement of the curve less as possible because we don't want to change the sleeve too much. So now you could see that I just went a little deeper at the notch area and of course my curve is a little deeper to try to keep the same measurement on both back and front. So it goes inside maybe two or three millimeter here and two millimeter in the front. Now that we remove these measurements on the side seam, we're going to add them back on the front piece and you're going to do it the back measurement on the side panel and the front measurement on the front panel. Then you could retrace the dart from the new pivot to the waist, from the new pivot to the shoulder notch for both sides. If you're wondering why did I put the smaller measurement, why didn't I put it even on both sides, it's just that this distance here, if you make it too wide, the body is going to look wider. Once your line are traced, we could cut just in the middle of both pieces. On the side piece, I cut the little excess of paper so I reach exactly the final new pivot and we're going to overlap the side panel to the front panel at the new apex point. So hold the pivot and make sure that your waist 
is still square with the center front so you could pivot the side panel until your waist is straight. Once it's in the good position we could glue the piece together the modification is almost complete, we just have to do the verification for the closing of the dart at the waist and at the shoulder. So now take your plan and close the new shoulder dart. Then you take a ruler and you place it on both points, so the shoulder and arm all point and the shoulder and neck point and you're going to trace a nice straight line from one point to the other. Then before to open your pattern, make sure you trace to get the new jug. Then you do the same verification at the waist, so close your waist dart. Then trace to get the new jug. So this is the transformation that I propose you to change the cup size on your basic body and go from a B cup to a D cup. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same modification but for a smaller cup size. And again here we have two sizes difference so it should be a two centimeter that will move from the side seam to the center front. And we're going to do it the same way so two thirds on the back and one third on the front. So here again I'm going to do my little square line for the front and you will see that the main difference is that we'll redo the same thing but in the opposite direction. To make the larger cup size we went in on both back and front but to make the cup smaller in the front we're going to do opposite. We're going to go out on the side seam both back and front so adding to the bust measurement and then we'll remove it on both sides of the front piece. Here I'll be using the same back for my small cup size and from my original point I'm going to go out 1.4. On the front I'll do the same 0.6 but this time going out. At this point you could trace all the way to the waist for both back and front. Then we're going to retrace the armhole here again you try not to change or change less as possible the armhole measurement. So we did add to the side seam, now we're going to remove to the front piece. So I'm going to go inside the side panel 1.4 centimeter and inside the center front panel 0.6. Once you have your new pivot, you could connect with the waist dart and with the shoulder dart. Then we do the same thing, we're going to cut in the middle and when you cut you could pass right away next to the new apex point. Then you're going to overlap your two new pivot side panel over the center front panel. Again, put your ruler 90 degrees from the center front, touching the waistline. Hold your pivot together and move your side piece until the waist is parallel touching the ruler. Then you could just glue your pieces together. Now since we're doing a smaller size, it's possible that you lost a bit the tracing of the dart, the center front side, on top a little bit and of course the one for the dart. So you might want to retrace them. Then just like we did with the bigger size cup, we're going to close both dart, find the jug at the waist and at the shoulder do the shoulder correction, then find the new jug. Here you go, your second modification for the smaller cup size is finished. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy. I see you next time.